friends, it's summer and welcome to Noonday Prayer. Today I'm out and about in the Sierra Nevadas and of course wanted to stop and spend some time connecting with the Lord and offering up a beautiful location for you to do some meditation with today. Our psalm today is extra long because they wanted to just take some time praising the Lord in His sanctuary. And I also just was looking at all the tracks that have come before me. I've got snowshoeing, I've got cross country tracks, I've got fat biking tracks. And it just reminded me of the presence of all the witnesses of Christ and how they've gone before us and they left for us so many beautiful things from scripture to their lives as a living testimony. So let's be that today too, whether it's just through our day today or with our entire life as we, as we go on and continue. Let's do a new day prayer together. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a tent. He lays the beams of his chambers on the waters. He makes the clouds his chariot. He rides on the wings of the wind. He makes his messengers winds, his ministers of flaming fire. He set the earth on its foundations so that it should never be moved. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood before above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Beside them, the birds of the heavens dwell. They sing among the branches. For the lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the livestock and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. In them, the birds build their nests. The stork has her home in their fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats. The rocks are a refuge for the rock badgers. He made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they steal away and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, great and wide, which teems with creatures innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you formed to play in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due seasons. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles. Who, slout, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. 
May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Romans 5, 5. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all affliction, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, let us offer intercessions together in silence. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, in such a beautiful location, it's great to be able to follow the lead of all creation as they bless the Lord, as they sing his praises, and as they worship him with their own lives. Have a great day.